A new Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC rumor has come out today, and baby, it's a big one. 22 new Pokemon, customizable dojos, and even story leaks. My name is Nikachu, and this is Lightning Fast Pokemon News. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for daily Pokemon updates. So the big rumor on the block today is from 4chan. Now 4chan has been uh, notoriously right and notoriously wrong in the past, so you have to take it with a grain of salt. But this one seems pretty legit and it's pretty fun. He starts off by saying there's 22 brand new Pokemon in this DLC. Now this does not include Galarian forms or Gigantamax forms, so there could be up to 40 brand new Pokemon. And of those 22, we can expect new mythicals, legendaries, typical Joe Schmo Pokemon, and even evolutions of old Pokemon, which is a big theme in Galar. Each expansion pass has 10 hours of gameplay. Before we get into the brand new Pokemon, which is really exciting, which will be later in the video, we have details on what happened, okay? The original plan was for Game Freak to release a third version, like Platinum or Emerald in the past. But this time, Game Freak was interrupted by Nintendo. Nintendo executives went to Masuda and said, no, 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 you're making DLC this time. And Masuda looked at Reggie Fizeme and was like, uh, uh, sorry Reggie, I, I'm sorry, uh, here's eight new forms of Reggie in your honor. And that is why we have all these new Reggie forms. Isn't that a great lore? Reggie looked away, he smiled, and went home forever. Now let's talk about these new Pokemon. Salo and Lisette are brand new tree Pokemon that look like humans. You know, Game Freak has a fetish for making humanoid Pokemon. I don't understand it. But now they've gone a little too far. We have Oak Tree Humans. Now it said it's based on the Ent creature. I have no idea what the hell an Ent creature is. So don't worry, I googled it for the both of us. And an Ent, E-N-T, is a walking tree. It's like a, a humanoid tree. Great. Moving forward, Lasalo is a boyish tree, and Lisette is a female tree. Now, <laughs> in 2020, I'm having an open mind, okay? I don't care what gender you identify as, but we're getting into trees now. Okay, I did not know trees had genders. I want to know what the gender is of the ugly trees in the wild area. My prediction is it's old gay men. That's my prediction. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Okay, the next Pokemon is Lupinor. He's your signature fan favorite Pokemon. He's a werewolf that kind of looks like Lycanroc, but he also is a one-stage evolution like Drudrigen. Um, and he's just a cool, scary little werewolf, which is fine. I'm excited. I can't wait for the fan art. And by that, I mean, seriously, I, I don't, I, I can't wait. I don't want it. Tornadus, Zacyon, and Zamazenta have no connection or story in this DLC, which is such sad news because Zamacenta and Zacyon and, and Internatus had such a great story that I really wanted to elaborate on. What a shame. The leaker says that the story is much more in depth than the original one, which makes me really happy because the Sword and Shield story, I'm still looking for it. It's a great game, I like it, but it definitely was lacking a story. And many characters from the original are coming back too, so hopefully we can see a redemption of some of these characters. He explicitly said that Chairman Rose is coming back, so. For all the people who didn't buy Animal Crossing New Horizons, don't worry, Pokemon's gonna make it up for you, or at least try to, because now you can customize your own dojo. They did this before in other games, you could do the underground dungeon in Diamond and Pearl and then the, the hidden places and Ruby and Sapphire on islands and stuff. So this is really cool, I could see them doing it again. You can customize it with furniture, with wallpaper, and apparently people can come into your dojo and challenge you to battles. I'm all ears, I'm all, I'm all for that. Okay, apparently the graphics are better in the DLC than the original Sword and Shield, which I did not know was even possible with DLC, so damn, okay. I mean, I don't, I don't have big expectations for better graphics, but we can hope. Okay, and to finish it off, there's a new Sword and Shield legendary called Meteodyna. Isn't that lovely? So now it's for my favorite part of the video, where I give the DLC a rating on how real I think it is. So let's go one by one. 22 new Pokemon. I'm gonna give that a check mark. I think it's a little optimistic. I think we could have a little bit less than that, especially if we're getting Gigantamax and uh, Galar forms. But 22 sounds pretty solid. And girly and boyish trees, 
Hell yeah, why not? Game Freak loves gendered Pokemon for some reason. Every generation, there's boy and girl, different versions of stuff. So, why not trees? Some people might complain about it. 10 hours each might be a little uh, low, which is why I think it's real. <laughs> okay, and then make your own dojo. This one's tough for me because it has been done in the past, but it almost sounds like there's too much effort <laughs> into this, which makes me think it's fake. But I'm going to give this a eh because they've done it before. The graphics being better in the DLC than the base game is a big no for me. Who are you trying to fool? I'm gonna give this leak four stars out of five. It doesn't go extreme in any way, and it still has some classic weird Game Freak charm. It's real. Comment down below what your favorite part of this leak is. For me personally, I hate on the trees, but I think they're pretty fun. Why not? Bring on the trees. <laughs> See you next time, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for daily Pokemon news. Nikachu out.